way, we're in Dallas, Texas. We're from Illinois. And we're and watching Wanderlust Estate. State. Oh, the day I break these chains, I'm bound for the life of the simple things. So I really went after it this week. Last week I had taken a little bit off the gas pedal with the hiking and everything. And uh, I decided this week to back off on the weightlifting and focus on doing a kettlebell workout to give me a chance to actually beat Eric over there <laughs> at Nomadic Fanatic since uh, I'm getting closer and closer to having the pounds off of me. And we're gonna go ahead and get started on the hike I did, which is the most difficult hike in the entire San Diego area. So I hiked up to El Cajon Mountain Peak. Hey guys, so I'm up here in the El Capitan Nature Preserve and I'm about to do the El Capitan hike. And this is supposed to be a hard hike according to all trails. As you can see here, it says that it's hard, but it's also got five stars from 318 reviews. So it's gonna be 10.4 miles and I'm gonna have a 3,000 foot elevation gain and then I gotta hike it back out. So let's see how it goes. I'm gonna backpack a bunch of water this time for this just in case. I'm unsure, but it almost seems like it's just up there, which doesn't seem that bad to me. I decided to go ahead and carry a battery pack along with me because I only had 40% battery life. So we're gonna see how the extra weight goes. That's kind of pretty that way. Well, I guess the shrubs got in the way. The uh, trail was bragging some wildflowers. There are some. Whew, this is steep. It was funny. There was a guy coming down and I told him, I was like, that doesn't look that steep. And he's like, oh, trust me, you get further up, it gets steep. It does. Hey little buddy, hey little buddy, where'd you go? Uh oh, there went his tail, that sucks. Yikes. I didn't crush him, did I? No, he just must have caught it or lost it on purpose. That's a trip. He's not underneath here at all. He must have just dropped his tail off. I thought they had to be like pulled off or something. Or unless he caught it underneath the rock before I did that. Crazy. There's another one. Hey buddy. We see you. Them lizards are getting away. All I was trying to do is show them off. I figured this would be perfect to show off right now. All these wildflowers. Can you imagine how this is going to look in about a month when there's even more of them? It's going to be just amazing. The sky is beautiful too. I love how the clouds look today. Lots of really cool rock structures to check out too. Totally slick. All right, back to climbing. <laughs> I see why this trail is hard. This is not an easy stretch right here. But it is a beautiful look. Whew. 
It's starting to get really pretty now, all the way down through the valley. you guys you can see all the way out to the ocean down there that's pretty slick and then we got a view all the way around I'm gonna go ahead and finish all the way up to the top of uh, El Cajon Peak over here but officially I'm done with the El Capitan trail now we're gonna go up there the last bit of this trail is kind of burly Here I am at the very top of El Cajon Mountain. I can see all the way out to the ocean. I can see two different lakes. Views every direction. And we got a geological survey emblem. Wow, that is a hard trail. I'm pretty much wiped, to be honest. Uh, I'm tired. That was a pretty grueling hike, actually. Seemed like it was way more than just 3,600 feet elevation climb. I'm thinking that the app probably just does the bottom to, uh, elevation to the top, and it was valley to uh, mountain peak. But who knows? Let's go ahead and get into how I was looking after this week. So right here is how I looked on January 1st when I first started this challenge with Eric. And now here I am yesterday. I feel like I'm getting a little leaner, but I, for some reason, I don't know if I'm retaining water or something because I feel like I look a little fatter too than I did like three weeks ago. But you know you know like I got a little more muscle definition but I also look a little thicker around the midsection but whatever absolutely crazy I already uh, cut a new hole in that belt I totally think it's cool that since I started this I'm down what is it now six pant sizes I don't know how you go down six pant sizes in just over 60 days. I think, what is it, 62 days or something? And, but hey, more power to me. I'm super stoked. I've been working really hard and uh, I'm proud so far. I think I've done really well. I'm hoping that I've beat Eric this week. It's time to just go ahead and jump into the actual weigh-in. I was weighing in at 239.5 pounds when we started this whole process. I'm now weighing in at 205 pounds. So that gives me a total of 34.5 pounds that I've lost in just over 60 days. You know, I mean, it really, it's almost as good as when I first started my weight loss process, although I have started exercising to go along going OMAD. So I'm not just doing the intermittent fasting that I was back when I started. And I'm putting on a lot of miles. I put on 320 something miles since January 4th when I started doing this hiking challenge with AT Renee and so I'm pretty stoked with everything I still feel like I could lose probably another you know 15 pounds maybe even 20 and you know off of me especially if I'm not like lifting weights to try to keep up with Eric and you know I I feel, I feel really good. 
and really that's the most important thing you know is is the health and and how things are going in that spectrum and so I'm starting to be able to run a little bit I sometimes on the flatter parts of the trail I go ahead and try to see where I am cardiovascular wise and then sometimes I'll do that a little bit when I'm out just doing my regular walking city miles just to see how I'm coming as far as my cardiovascular work and I may start running more and start trying to push see see if I can put in a mile you know actually running going forward but it's it's just amazing how far it's all come I know that a lot of you guys don't realize that that have just started watching this don't realize that when I started this whole weight loss journey I was 322 pounds I'm only 205 now and so that's 117 pounds that I've lost since I started my weight loss journey and really I had to actually start doing the intermittent fasting because I never really had any success with diet alone I tried gotten frustrated didn't really seem to lose any weight so I just gave up you know obviously I put on weight faster than I would have if I would have been more careful about my diet but I mean I was even on a 1200 calorie a day diet there for a little while and I didn't really lose any weight so it's just nice to see that there's something out there that can can really make a difference and once I got some a good chunk of that weight off because at first I had a hard time working out and exercising or anything you know so intermittent fasting really is what had done it for me and made it so that I could take the weight off that I needed to take off to be able to comfortably exercise even and and it's given a lot of the things that I really enjoyed in my life like hiking back and I I'm not I'm not tired I don't huff and puff all the time you know now obviously I was huffing and puffing a little bit on that trail but you know that was a pretty grueling trail it's supposed to be just as difficult as the Mount McKinney stretch on the Pacific Crest Trail so it was in it's nice to have like gotten a feel for what that might look like and it and I was told that by a couple of people that have actually done that through hike the whole Pacific Crest Trail so that was pretty cool another successful week I hope I have another I think we got another three or four weeks left we're getting so close I'm gonna have to go and check in on Eric see how he's done get out there connect with people live your big story and make sure you do something every single day to reduce world suck. Peace, guys.